All right, so I was going to get around to watching this movie anyway, but I just had to because I kept seeing comparisons to John Wick. Chris Hemsworth plays Tyler Rake in this film, and people keep saying that Tyler Rake will give John Wick a run for his money. Y'all tweaked on that one. What's up guys, this is Courtney, what happens with Russ Deconstruction here, and I'm bringing you my review for Extraction. Extraction is a Netflix original film that just came out on the service not too long ago, and it stars Chris Hemsworth. There are also a lot of other Indian actors as well, but I'm not even going to try to pronounce any of their names because I know I'm going to butcher them, and I would rather not make myself look stupid. And as always... Spoilers, because I'm going to kind of talk about some important plot points in the film. Also, a fun fact is that Sam Hargrave, who directed this film, also has a small starring role in it as well. So I thought that was kind of cool. This film was produced by the Russo brothers, known for Captain America Winter Soldier, Civil War, and both the Avengers Affinity War in Endgame films. And it's a story about Tyler Rake, who, as I said before, is played by Chris Hemsworth. He's a mercenary who takes the job of going to rescue the son of a like international crime lord who's been kidnapped. And along the way, as he's getting him toward the extraction point to rescue the kid, he finds out that they his team finds out that they've been played. So they were hired to for this job but they never had any intention of, the people who, the, the guy who hired them, they never had any intention of actually paying them. They were gonna cut them off early on and then get the kid themselves and then take them back to safety. Overall, I thought the movie was fine. The action is, is well done. I think that's probably why it's been getting so many comparisons to John Wick because there are a lot of gunshots being fired in this film. And it's some really cool action sequences. Again, I wouldn't say that Tyler Rake is on par with John Wick, but I can see why people would think that. Because anytime there's, uh, I think John Wick kind of changed the landscape for how action is filmed, gunfights, I should say, are filmed, because whenever there's gonna be like a gunfight, so close quarters combat with guns, people are going to compare it to John Wick because it was done so well in the John Wick franchise. But here, I think while a lot of the action is good, I wouldn't put it on par with John Wick. Now, one of the standout scenes in this film is this really long car chase sequence that's I think I read about 12 minutes long, and it's really good editing in the sequence because they make it look like it was one continuous take, but you can tell... And there's even, uh, I think, on the Russo Brothers Instagram page, they have a video of them talking about filming the scene. They filmed it in parts where they can mask edits and cuts, making it look as if it's one take. So I think that's a really impressive feat. And the sequence itself is really, really good. But overall, I think a lot of the acting is well done. Chris Hemsworth is good in a row. He doesn't have to put on some weird American accent. He uses his native Australian accent. I think Chris Hemsworth does a really good job playing Tyler. And you can see the pain and the anguish on his face due to the backstory that we find out about his son. His six-year-old son uh, died of lymphoma. And you know he left and took a mission so he didn't have to watch his son die like that. And he plays it very, very well. You can tell early on that this dude has a death wish. And you can you can kind of see or kind of understand why. But at the end, it's almost as if he's trying to redeem himself by focusing on the kid. Because there are points in the story where he's told, we can get you out, but you got to leave the kid behind. And he doesn't. And he says it's because of the money, but I think ultimately... He's trying to redeem himself for what he did and not being there for his own son. A lot of the other actors and actresses of the film do a good job as well. David Harbour has a small cameo in the film. I don't want to say cameo. He has a small part in the film where 
uh, his character and Tyler get into a fight because he's he's kind of in on not in on it, but he decides, hey, the guy that wants the kid is paying me ten million dollars. We can split that. We can put this kid out of his misery because they're not gonna let him live. So they get into a fight about that, and there's just a lot of uh, I think solid acting all around. In the film, it's mostly Chris Hemsworth because we travel with him and his character, Tyler, as he picks up the kid and gets him to the eventual extraction point. But there's uh, there's not really how much to the movie. It's fairly simple. You know, a kid gets kidnapped. You know, the father hires some people to, to save him. He screws them over in the process and the kid is still saved. Now, at the end of the film, Tyler essentially gets his wish. He gets uh, killed, or so we think, because while um, Ovi, the name of the, of the kid who was kidnapped, he does, he jumps into this pool. The, the movie ends the way that it began. We get a shot of Chris Hemsworth like waking up, jumping into this ocean or this, uh, lake whatever this body of water off this cliff and he sits at the bottom of you know wherever he is and he's just sitting there kind of meditating i don't know if he's trying to drown himself or not but the ending of the film ovi does the same thing he's at the pool he climbs up jumps off does the same thing he's sitting at the bottom and then all of a sudden he opens his eyes and then he goes to the surface and he looks over and in the blurry background we see somebody that looks like Tyler. Now when Tyler was shot, he was shot in the neck. He, they were on a bridge. He leaned up against the bridge and then just let himself fall over into the water. Now something told me he's probably not dead. One, because we just see his body hit the water. We don't see him actually die. And whenever you never see a body in a movie, you can essentially assume that that person is still alive so we get that little tease of oh he gets out of the out of the pool looks over and then we see kind of this outline of this person that kind of looks like tyler so he might be alive i don't know if this is supposed to be some franchise or not i'm not sure but it was an entertaining movie again i wouldn't put it on the same level as john wick but the action is done really really well yeah, guys, that's my review for Extraction. Hopefully you guys liked what I had to say about it. Again, it's on Netflix. It just got put up, I think, last week. I think it's worth a watch. The action is really, really good. I just wouldn't put it on the same level as John Wick. But there are some cool moments in the film, especially there was one reload moment that I had to double back and watch because I, I just don't know how the hell he reloaded that handgun like that. But, yeah. Go ahead, check it out, guys. As always, I appreciate the support, whether it's 1, 5, 10, or 100 views, and I'll be catching up with you guys later.